Oh, I'm half hungry, baby. Oh, so am I. Well, today, folks, we're going to have steak done in the air fryer. Now, a lot of people say that you shouldn't really do steak in an air fryer. The only way to do it is to fry it in a frying pan or on a griddle. Well, we're going to do it in the air fryer. We want it medium, and we're going to see how it turns out. Medium to well, I like mine. Of course you do. Okay, so we're having a steak salad tonight. We're going to have onion rings and a few chips with it, but uh, we're also going to make our own peppercorn sauce. Now, sure, you can buy it, but we just like making it anyway, and Sharon's got a little recipe which we want to show you. So let's just have a look at all the ingredients to see what we are using today. Here's today's ingredients. We are using rib eye steak. Today we chose chestnut mushrooms, some battered onion rings, some frozen chips or fries, a bowl of mixed salad of your choice. For our peppercorn sauce you'll need 1 tablespoon of whole black peppercorns, 2 teaspoons of gravy granules, 1 quarter of an oxo cube, 1 half a teaspoon of marmite and 150 milliliters of double cream. Right, so we've just got black peppercorns folks, now we've got this little pestle and mortar, and uh, Sharon what do you reckon, about 2 tablespoons, something like that, 1 tablespoon? It's how strong you like it, because while you're cooking this, you can test it as well. Right, okay, so you put about a tablespoon in there I'd say. And you're just going to give them a good grind, but we still want to see some of the peppercorns in there, yeah. don't we? So you're not actually going to just smash, smash it all up. You're just going to break most of them oh, it's up. It's hard work, this. Of course it is, Sharon. Let's swap rolls. So doing a pestle and mortar, folks, is actually quite hard work, but uh, you can get bigger. You can get bigger ones than these, but um, this is a brand new one which we've never used before, and I think you push and twist at the same time, Sharon. That gets some. Uh, Oh. Well, I'm thinking of building up your biceps, see, that's Shall. giving you the job. My guns don't need building up, baby. Well, they get a bit saggy. Yeah, well, I'm back down the gym now anyway, and I so. But I've been on the treadmill today indoors, folks, so I've done half hour on there, just because we're so busy at the moment. Right, okay, right, so. Then. So as you can see, folks, we've not totally ground them all up. There's uh, still a few in there, but there's loads of them that, that have turned to powder. Right, right, then you add now some gravy granules. How much are we putting in there? About a tablespoon again? Yeah. Right, I'm going to measure, measure a tablespoon, folks. And then you mix that, that do, until it goes like a sticky consistency. Oh, God. Do you really... Look at really, your arm, look at all the bones in it, muscle in your arm. You okay? What's that, baby? It's quite good, I you like look, it. You look at my arm muscles, yeah, are I you? Like it. See, I've got some, baby. Yeah, you have, haven't you? Going back to the 1990s, baby, in the 80s, when I used to do it all the time. Yeah, they're a little bigger then. <sighs> I'm a lot bigger now, but in the wrong places, Sharon. Correct. <laughs> right, how about that? that looks all right to me. Until it goes sticky. It is sticky. Well, you take over now. I've done all the donkey work. Right. Time for me to get back behind and do my what I do best. Right, I don't know one thing, folks. Have you seen? She's had air cut, look. She's had air cut. So in we go with the cream. You're going to put the whole lot in. Right, go on in. In it goes. I'm going to put it on low. Right, and it does want to be low, folks. You don't yeah. want to boil that. Not yet, anyway. Right, now what then? We're going to add this mixture. Right. And you've got to keep stirring all the time. So that's got all come together, folks. As yeah. I say, it seems unusual this way, but we've been assured by our daughter that this produces an absolutely fantastic peppercorn sauce. Yes, this is Mr. Ben Clifford's recipe. Where do you get it from? I don't know, you think he made it up? Well, he's, he's, taking, he's taking the credit and it's not even his, yeah. Right, so while she's doing that, folks, I'm going to start approaching or attacking the other lot of stuff. So the chips can go in tray number two on the old Ninja. Don't need that in there. So I'll just lob them in there, like that. So I'll whack that in. So she's just taking it off the boil, folks, and as you can see, it's thickened up already. Right, we're going to add a quarter of the Oxo cube. Right, so in goes a quarter of the Oxo cube. And then we're going to add our Marmite. You either love it or you hate it, folks. But as I say, if you don't like Marmite, have a go with Bovril instead. And then just continue stirring. Yep. And I can see the colour getting darker already. Smells good. So we've got, we've got the chips in there, folks. They take about 18 minutes. The steaks are only going to probably take about 12 minutes. So the other tray with this air fryer, we've got the facility to sink them up. So I'm literally just going to plop them in there like that. They've been soaking, folks, with a little bit of a Maggie seasoning in there as well. So if you don't like Maggie seasoning, if you haven't got it, it doesn't matter. 
but we have seasoned them with the Maggie seasoning. Right, so we'll just pop that in. We'll turn the air fryer on and we're gonna do sink. So number one or number two first, we want air fry, 200 degrees for 18 minutes. And then number one, we want to do air fry, 200 degrees for, we'll take this one down to 12 minutes. So we've got 18 on that one, 12 minutes on that one. This one will start cooking because it's on the, for the longest. And as soon as it gets down to 12 minutes, that one will kick on. And that is the sink, uh, sink function. So they both finish at the same time. Right, so the sauce, is that ready, Sharon? Yeah, that's done. So that just sits on the side, folks. It's yep. a thick sauce. Right, so we'll just leave that there, folks. That is all hot now. We can just reheat that when we finished it. And if there's any solid peppercorns in there, the residual heat will actually cook them and soften them off a bit as well. And if you do want to thin it down a little bit, you can also add a bit of milk to it as well. Right, so now on with the uh, pan again. And we're just going to start cooking our mushrooms these are what ones are these mushrooms these are closed chestnut mushrooms closed chestnut we normally have the uh not the button mushrooms or the white mushrooms yes. but we're giving these a go it might be a bit more of a woody taste or a nutty taste to them so the only thing we've got outstanding now folks is our onion rings which we'll put in probably about halfway through when the chips are cooked we'll just throw them on top and sharon's already just mixed up our our salad we all know how to mix a salad up folks you ain't got to have an instruction on how to do that We've got coriander in there as a little bit of extra flavouring. Lettuce, tomatoes, onions, rocket, rocket cucumber, and uh, as I say, that, that'll do the two of us there. The mushrooms are now done. So the air fryer is now cooking both items. We wait until it gets to 10 minutes and then we're going to take the chips, give them a shake and then throw them onion rings on the top of them. So the steak's been on for two minutes now. So we pull that out and as you can see it stops both timers. So uh, there you go, look at them, look, they're already virtually so we might need them out quicker than what we think so let's just put them in right whack them back in again I'm gonna leave the steak I don't need to have a look at that it's been on for two minutes so Sharon's now just reheating up the uh, the peppercorn sauce and as I say you like it quite thick don't you yeah I don't like it running all over everything yeah well I do you see but um, I have to go with what Sharon wants because okay, Sharon when I push mine out you can put some milk in yours can't you I forgot to put a bit of avocado I like a bit of avocado in my um, salad so I'll be doing that in a minute right so really coming together now folks I've got the salad out now and I'm just going to put our avocado in the salad I've cut it in half I'm just going to get this old spoon You're a good boy. and just spoon it out Sharon this one's nice and ripe, so it's come out nice and easy. And it just leaves the shell, look. So I'll get that one out as well. Just go around the rim, shall I? I like rimming it, shall I? Yeah? And that's it. Then I just get a sharp knife and literally just cut it into slices. Because we're going to be putting this in the salad. Shall let's just bring it together now with the mushrooms on the plate. Just gonna cube it. Now a lot of people don't like avocados. I never used to like them as well, but they're very similar to olives in the way that you either love them or you hate them, just like you do with Marmite, Sharon, isn't it? Do you like love and hate today? And I love them, Sharon. I never used to, I used to hate them, but they're full of so many good oils. All your your, your oils which you wanna be eating, good for your liver, and also full of potassium as well, folks. They're nice put in the oven, dipped in parmesan cheese. Oh, look at that. Very nice. So just rumming it through there now, so we all get a little bit shell, don't we? Oh yeah, we all like a little bit. So, got our mushrooms on the plate already. Just coming over here, I just want to check these onion rings and chips again. And I think they're done, Shell. I think they're done, so they can come out. Stop. And I love a lot of salad, Sharon, don't I? You're not too bothered, really, really, with the salad. You're more interested in having your meat on the plate, aren't you? I love steak. Uh... And I have literally a mountain of salad, folks. We'll have all that. I'll have all that, yeah. That will do me. Load it up, baby. Oh, there's no room for your steak. I'll have to eat oh, it. Oh, there will be, baby. It will lay right across there. Right oh, across there, it will lay. Like over there. Right, so we like to put our little uh, stuff in the ramekin, folks. So just leave it in there like that. You like yours over your meat, don't you? Well, I'm not really too bothered, Charlie. I, like, I, I like to be given the choice, baby. I like to dip. There should be a white one that side. A little square white one. Oh, there we go. Look. I like that one. So, whack mine in there, baby. Oh, 
must say, Ben, looks good. Put some more in yours, Sharon. I will. Put some more in yours. Tracy said he makes a batch if he's got some over. Does he? Yeah. And he freezes it, does he? You could have it on your Sunday roast, couldn't you? If you have got beef, you could have a bit of peppercorn sauce as well. You can have it on anything you like, baby. Yeah, whatever you like. The sausage is in it. So we're nearly there, folks. All come together at the right time. Right, now, as I said to you folks, we've never cooked steak in an air fryer before, so we're not too sure of the times. We're gonna have a look now. Here we go, that's ended now. We did turn it over halfway. Well, it looks nice, yeah? So let's just take a bit out. Right, just cut into that, yeah? Get your knife. You want a fork? Yes, please. And we just wanna see if it's done to how you like it. You like it medium, don't you? Medium to well, you do. Oh, that's perfect medium, Sharon. That's a bit more for me. That's perfect for you, but I will have it a bit more. Oh, well, I'm, not, I'm taking mine out then. You take those out, yeah. That is just how I like it, folks. That is very good. I'm gonna try a little bit. Yeah, I think you should do, Sharon, because that's gonna be wonderful. That will be absolutely wonderful, I can guarantee it. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Yeah? I'm gonna put hers on for a bit longer, folks, but let's have a look at ours. Just give me mine two minutes. Right. I'm gonna put hers up another two minutes, folks. She's a funny old mare. There's no right or wrong way for steak. Of course there ain't. And that's how I like mine. Right, so two minutes, that's that. But folks, let's take a look at mine first of all and see what that's like. Well, that extra two minutes done, Sharon, how she likes hers. There you go, folks. You don't like to see any red in hers. But there you go. Two fantastic, uh, well, weekday meals there, whatever. Any special occasion, Sharon. So let's see you have a little go at your steak then, baby. Just how you like it. Shall I see it? Let's have a look. Oh, it's too oh, late. Sorry, people. You can't. She's just going in, folks. Look. Perfect. Yeah? There you go. Let's just see. So that's just how Sharon likes hers. Right, okay, baby, Margot. Oh, that looks fantastic, folks. I'm gonna go in with a bit of seasoning on my salad. I do like to do that, folks. A bit of salt on there as well. This that's, is- You won't need much pepper with that peppercorn. That's no, of that's course awesome. I wouldn't, of course I wouldn't. A little bit on the, on the old steak there. A little bit of vinegar. The vinegar first, then the salt. Yeah, of course, that's all right. You do it like, folks. And then a bit of the old mayonnaise all over that salad. And even on the chip shell, I'm not bothered, I don't care, that's the sort of mood I'm in. Right, let's have a go at that steak first of all. I'm gonna cut that little end bit off there like that. Yeah, that's perfect for me, folks. That is absolutely perfect for me. I'm gonna go in with some uh, peppercorn sauce. Right, I'm going in, folks. Oh, Sharon! <laughs> what if next time I heard? Oh! And watch what's going on! Oh! You know that, yeah. That is a triumph, folks. I do think it cooked steak well, but it has. And can I just say, that's a good peppercorn sauce. I'll as tell well. you what, yeah, Ben, if you're watching, he better be. That was a fantastic peppercorn sauce you've done there. The mushrooms. Everything's cooked to perfection, folks. There's not really much more to say, but... We're gonna go off and enjoy it. <laughs> 12 minutes, 200 degrees, for that size steak, is absolutely perfect so you, for me. You can cook <clears> this dinner <throat> roughly in 18 minutes. Yeah. That's the longest thing was the chips, but they got done beforehand. Sharon likes it, two minutes extra, that's all you needed, and she's happy with that. So it's right medium, right where you want it to be if you like a medium steak. Mm -hmm. Obviously take two minutes off if you want a rare steak. That's our first experience yeah. of cooking a steak in the air fryer. And I'll do it again. Of course you will. You've got no spitting out of the frying no. pan, shell. None of that old toffee. No. It's all there for us again. <laughs> the air fryer's come up trumps, and having that sink feature, which the ninja's got, it's quite a handy feature as well. Anyway, we've got to go, folks. This is getting cold. We want to enjoy this. Put oh, our feet yeah. up, put our feet up. Sit in front of the telly, watch a bit of YouTube. Might watch some Butler's Empire videos. Cuddle me, dog. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. Hope you've enjoyed that. We'll see you in the next video, and until then, bye-bye. Bye for now. Come on, baby. I'm coming.